how to use loop in file template to target host with Ansible, this is extremely useful for service configuration file, placeholder web pages, report, and so much more use cases. I'm going to show you in a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about Ansible module template. The full name is ansible.builtin.template. It's part of Ansible Core and is included in all Ansible installation. It template a file out to a target host. Templates are processed by Jinja Chu templating language. Also, you can use some special variable in your template. You can see the whole list in this slide. It supports a large variety of operating systems. For basic text formatting, use the ansible.builtin.copy module or for an empty file ansible.builtin.file module. For Windows, use the ansible.windows.win underscore template module instead. Parameters. Let me highlight the most useful parameter for module template. The only required parameter are src and dest. The src parameter specify the template file name. Templates usually are stored under templates directory with .j2 file extension. The dest parameter specify the path where to render the template to on the remote machine. The validate parameter allow you to specify the validation command to run before copy into place. It's very useful with configuration file for services. Please note that the special escape sequence percent %s is going to be expanded by Ansible with the destination path. If the backup parameter is enabled, Ansible create a backup file including the timestamp information before copying to destination. Let me also highlight that we could also specify the permission and see Linux properties. Demo. Let's jump in a real life Ansible playbook to use loop in file template. Are you ready? Let's have fun! Welcome to my editor. I will show you one simple playbook to generate ATC My Host file. First of all, let's start one play with a name template module demo that is going to target host all of my inventory. Let me also use become true because uh, I need a root privilege to execute this code. Only one task named generate slash ATC my hosts file that has the same syntax as the ATC host. Using the module ansible.builtin.template with some parameter. Mandatory src and dest. So let's start with src and we are using templates slash hosts dot j2 because it's Jinja2 template and destination will be slash etc slash my hosts. We don't want to mess it up the etc host in this time, but the syntax is the same. So let's set also the owner, root, and the group that will be root. 
let me set also the permission in my case mode 0644 so the owner can read and write and the others can only read here we are one simple task that is going to apply a template to a file that's it from the Ansible point of view but the magic is going to be performed on the Jinja2 template so let's begin with a comment I usually print out uh, the value of variable Ansible underscore managed that is a text that say that this file is managed by Ansible if someone performs some manual changes so one typical ATC host file has also some local host for IP version 4 and IP version 6 so this is a more or less a copy and paste from my ATC host but now the magic will begin let's use the loop in a Jinja2 template so four host in a group all so we are going to use the group all of Ansible and le, we are going to go one by one the item using the host variable let me also close the for with and for and uh, you notice this percent symbol that is going to be the loop I'm going to use the special variable host var for each host so this is like uh, for every line of the group host I would like to access the Ansible underscore host magic variable this is a magic variable with the IP address of the host then second field is the FQDN the fully qualified host name that we are going to find inside host var host and inventory underscore host name and third field is the short host name so host vars of hosts here we are and we are going to access this time the magic variable inventory underscore host name underscore short so the combination of a Jinja2 template for running the for loop for every single host in my template, in my inventory, combined with the powerful of the magic variable of Ansible, will result in a simple ATC host file. And you see, it's not over complicated, it's only using some variable inside a loop that everybody can understand this significant so more moreover we can add some static test like in the beginning where could i found all the magic variable of ansible inside the ansible website documentation you have a full list of the magic variable and as you can see there are plenty of possibility to uh, find out what we need in our case here we are inventory underscore hostname and inventory underscore hostname shorts are the one used in my playbook but there are so much more and you can deep dive on the website and it's a lot of fun welcome on my console first of all let me connect via ssh i'm going to use devops user and demo.example.com as a target host and i would like to verify oh sudo su yes we need the root power to verify that a slash etc slash my hosts doesn't exist and here we are no file or directory so which means that this file don't exist so let me exit from root exit from user and execute my playbook with ansible dash playbook let me specify my inventory that here we are and then 
the path of my playbook. In my case is under apply template generate underscore my hosts. The execution will be super fast because it's only one text file to generate with a change status so some action are executed on the target machine. Let me execute again to double check the hidden potency. Here we are, only OK status, no more action performed. Let me connect to the target machine SSH DevOps at demoexample.com again. Let me switch to root, verify the permission on slash etc slash my host. This time the file exists and let me cut and boom. As we expected, all the variables are expanded automatically by Ansible. We see the Ansible managed variable is on the first comment. There is this text that you can customize inside your Ansible.cfg file. Then the static test of localhost is present and the loop is expanded for each line of your Ansible inventory. Let me disconnect from the host and show you actually my Ansible inventory. As you can see, let me cut my inventory. There is only one line with demo.example.com and the IP address of 192. Uh, okay, you got it. As you can see, is the same of ATC my host. This is very powerful, as you can see, because you can generate uh, ATC host on the fly to some uh, target machine. I was uh, using my host, but once. Uh, the code is uh, or certified, you can also use for ATC host. Now you know how to use loop in file template with Ansible. Thank you for watching and if you like it, give me a thumbs up and see us on the next lesson. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.